Okay, I'm reloaded. Okay, I'm reloaded. It's Big Dow Pacino here. Show and tell. Number 38. Stop on a shot. Get on vehicles in. I haven't really. I changed it up just a bit. A little dusty. I think I always got to dust this area. Ain't too much. I switched up some, but let's get into it. Uh, we got some holes to get into. Uh, like I said, this is show and tell number 38. Two more show and tells will be videos, which my weekly videos. Uh, that I do will be into show and tell number 40. Pretty much it's September, near the, almost the middle of September, near the end, to be honest. So, well, but three more months will be near the end of the year. Time is passing, we're progressing. Got some subscribers. I don't know why we keep going to 70, keep going back. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. We can't worry about that. Like I said, we're going to just keep showing love to the diecast. So let's let's get into it. Uh, Monday, got a call from Amazon that I had ordered. And I'm going with the theme that I went with last been going with the last two videos as you can see it's a green light 60th anniversary 2013 corvette z06 hard top and that's going with the, the theme that i've been been doing like i said the last two videos i got this which is the 40 46 yeah I think is it the 46 or the 43rd I forgot I think this is the 40 I think this is 43rd I forgot oh it's the 45th I think this is the 46th anniversary yeah because it, it's the 1998 yeah anniversary was in 1999 uh, i think it is the the 40 46 because <clears throat> corvette made its debut in 1953 so that's the 46 the one I showed before. This is the 50th anniversary, which was is on 1953, of course. So they did the 50th anniversary model. And this came out in 2003. The other one came out in 2000. And it's a 98. No, 99. Came out in, the, the black one came out in came from 99 green light but it's a 98 model this is I think a 2003 model <clears throat> and we're humming right along and, th and now we got this 2013 which it came out in 2017. So that was Monday. I love Corvettes. Chevy's on my favorite model. So moving on on Wednesday, I had to uh, handle some errands and I did a little. Picked up a little th 
little shop groceries and stuff from uh, Giant, which grocery store in my area. I got to say that because everywhere doesn't hire the same grocery stores, but oh well. Uh, I think these are older carded. And I hope I don't have all of these. Don't remember picking up this one. Uh, it's a Chevy Blazer 4x4 from the HW Hot Truck series. And it's real old. It's saying 2015. Yeah, I got these from a, a dump bin. If I remember right. I'm just going to put them. I got a bag here. Should just my Excuse me, excuse me, folks. Put the main lines in there. This is pretty cool. I, I don't know. If, I think I got one like this, but I think I don't. I think I just got a truck. Yes. Left it up like that. But oh, well. And like I said, this is 16 Camaro SS. It's from the 50th Camaro series, which I do not remember. Like I said, main lines. And this, they saying, well, the copyright is 2015. They're not saying what the model is. I'm not saying that. We got a 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 from the HW Exotic Series. And this is saying copyright 2015 too. So it's three years old. Like I said, it came from dump bin. So I don't remember having this one. Not the black with the white. Got this Raptor, 17.4 F-150 Raptor, HW Hot Truck Series. That's saying 2015 too. Don't remember. That's got to be wrong because it's a 17 Raptor. So maybe that's when they got the license. I don't know. Porsche nine nine fifty four point five from a factory fresh series. As again, saying to, I don't know if this is 2015. I think it's 2017, maybe 18. Yeah, we're not going to pay attention to that. And the BMW M4 from the Factory Fresh series. Yeah, I always thought that would be an indicator, but I guess it's not. I don't know how you can check to see the actual dates. That's an answer. That's a BMW M4. I don't know if I got this color or not. If I do, I'll just put in my extras. And that's Wednesday. Let's get into uh, Friday, which was yesterday, which I went out and uh, to a shopping center I usually don't get a chance to go to. But I went out there because the weather was nice. And I really didn't have anything pressing to do. So, I went to this 
discount store called uh, Five Below. I don't know if y'all have one in your area, but they pretty much do discount type stuff, mainly like food, candy, um, electro like electronic accessories and you know all mixed stuff a little bit of t-shirts and stuff like that so, i got this matchbox mbx service ice cream king i uh, know matchbox usually is on point with their things you can see this is from 2019 i don't think i have one of these and uh, i got this road tripper and this is 2019 too and this one the mbx off-road series which i usually don't get uh Fantasy castings, but sometimes I'd just be glad to see Matchbox. I don't really see them stocked like in Target and Walmart like they should. Got this Garbage King from uh, Matchbox MBX Service Series. And this is 2018. It's pretty cool. We got another uh, service vehicle, MBX service. And this is the, uh, I think, Scania P360. I don't know if I have one of these. If it's not, it's a little different. I don't remember having one of these. Got a little decos on. Like it's a hazard truck. Not necessary of a fire truck. And this is 2019 too. So, hmm. Okay. While I was there, um, I got, I picked up some vehicles from Hobby Lobby, which I said, my location, Hobby Lobby location, is it's only been there, I think, under, it's been under, it hasn't even been, it's been not even six months yet. But if it's not, it's, it's probably close to that. But I guess they really got established because when I first went up there the f first two times um, during the spring, I think, early so, um they really didn't have too much in the way of die cast. They just had stuff in a little display corner, probably like 10, 10 to 10 models if you're lucky, and only green light. Came there this time, they relocated the die cast. It's got its own aisle, and they got um, it up there with the models and, and other stuff, slot racing cars and stuff. It's got a proper aisle now. And man, I should have did a video. I regret doing a video now because they had so much stuff. They had Johnny Lightning. They had uh, Green Light. I don't think they had Auto World. They even had some Maisto stuff. Uh, they had Auto World, but they had the slot cars on. They had Auto World uh, actual cars. They even had racing champs up there, I think like one casting. But they had a lot of green light and a lot of Johnny Lightning. Some cool stuff, man. I had to tear myself away because I'm, I know they had at least, and I was surprised. I probably seen more at other people's stores because they usually have Hot Wheels um, car culture too. But they ain't have car culture. But I saw some good stuff there. I was tempted to spend, I spent like a good little amount. I think I paid $7.99 for this and I paid $9.99 for another car. So that's 
I probably ended up playing a good what? I think it ended up being nineteen dollars, just shy of twenty. I'm definitely going back. So that would be one of my daily stops. I mean weekly stops, I should say. I should say probably I'll try to go every two weeks at least. And I got something I won't be warning. And it's National Lampoon's uh, Vacation. I think this is the first movie vehicle. Classic movie starring Chevy Chase. I uh, think Shelley Long and Michael Anthony Hall. Yeah, but it's a classic car too. 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Which also was featured in the 70s show. And it also has a hitch. So, I had to decide because they had the uh, estate wagon series from Greenlight up there. And I, I was like, man. But I have like a couple of them already. I think I have three. So I have two. Because I have the four LTD and I have the Nomad, I think. Yeah. So, I'm like, man, the Chevy Handyman is the same thing as the Nomad, to be honest. Kind of between the Bel Air and the Nomad. So, And they had another version of the LTD, just an earlier model, I think, than what I got. So, I'm like, man. And I got, oh, I got a third one because I got the Volkswagen. Uh, I got the Volkswagen uh, wagon, too. I forgot about that one. But, um, but this National Lampoons is cool. I've been wanting Vista Cruiser for a long time. Yeah, look at the hubcaps, man. It looks really authentic. Looks better than what uh, Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning have been putting out there. Everybody's tried to do this, this uh, vehicle at one time. I think this is the best one I've seen. Unless all the world goes do, goes and do one. But I uh, also picked up, like I said, this a second vehicle from that from that store from the Hobby Lobby. I picked up a Johnny Lightning. Oh, I forgot to say what this is from. What 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 year this let's see what year this is. This is 2019. But uh, the Johnny Lightning has a hot rod power tool. And I used to read Hot Rod magazine when I was growing up. My dad, my dad would get it for me because he built, he that's what he did. He built muscle cars. He always had a muscle car side project. And um, a couple of Plymouths, a couple of Fords. No, I take that back, no Fords. He worked on them, but he never kept them. He usually worked on for other people. This is a uh, 1970 Dodge Dark Swinger. I haven't seen. I've seen this car on people's channel who are real enthusiasts. I mean, they got their basements filled with cars. You can see the uh, cars on the on display on it the, on their uh, walls and stuff. But uh, casual channels this is like one of the ones that really don't get mixing you know everybody's into charges and and uh challengers and you know hemi cooters and like like i like the coronet not too many people are into the coronet some real muscle heads are though but um the swing is cool because i've been doing mopar lately this is pretty cool, man. It's a cool addition to the collection. And it's a limited edition one of 2,456. That's a real low number. They got in a series. They got a 66 Chevy Nova SS, 1972. Plymouth Satellite uh, Sebring Plus. Hmm. I might get that one. Because that's similar to a Roadrunner. 
a famous one like uh, Daisy Duke had, which you can't. They, they, you'll, if you want to get that, you'll pay, be paying an arm and a leg. Anything connected to Duke's Hazard. Uh, 1978 Mustang Cobra 2. I got something like that. I got the King Cobra from Charlie's Angels from Greenlight. And I got a 1996 Chevy Camaro Z28, a 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo, which Hot Wheels famously he did for the Fast and Furious series that would be looking like that. But I might get their version because it'll probably be more realistic. And we got the 70 dark, dark uh, swinger right here. Let's see what we're working with as far as date. They say this came, I see 2018, so it's only been out for a year. Okay, and uh, last but not least, we ordered something, another Johnny Lightning. We ordered this from Amazon and, and finally came in. It was plus, I, was, I was thinking it was going to come in Monday because it kept, when I was tracking the package, it kept saying it might come in Monday. But it came in very early, like close to three or four days early. I'm glad. And as you see, got two for one. Got a 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. And that's a nine. I know that off the top of my head because when I was playing Forza, I used to use 2000 Mitsubishi Lancer. Lancer Evolution all the time, and it's definitely a nine. Not just that game, I think Tokyo Drift game on PS2 too. Couple of games to be honest. Need for Speed Pro Street, couple of. Them. Um, <clears throat> this is 2000 Honda Civic Hatchback, which we already have one. Ah, and I just so happens I put it up. You save space. So I put that bad boy up. It's been on display for a while. This is the racing version. The official racing version. And I have a street racing version too. But that one's a 1997. It's a 2000. And this came from two this is 2018 when this came up. So man. Look for this next week, man. It'll be on display. We'll take it out and spin it around and all that good stuff. And from the last haul, that's the Subaru uh WRX STI. I wanna say. 2016, 17, and it's from Majorette. It's a left hand drive. And uh, what else we had? The Toyota Crown from Tomica. That was in there. And I already showed you the, uh, the Corvette, the bronze Corvette. So, and that's pretty much it. See, I put my Porsche super fast from a couple holes in the mix. You know. And that's pretty much it. Everything else you pretty much already seen. So until next time, uh show a little love to the diecast, man. As for the subscribers, man, I want to thank you for tuning in. I know sometimes it's the shows are hit or miss. Some shows are better than the others. Some content is better than the others, you know. Some suck, some not. Like I say, always say, not not the best diecast channel, but not the worst either. Um, so, um, if you like what you've seen happen upon the channel, please subscribe. Uh, like I always been saying uh, for the last few videos, get a chance 
uh, please tune in to Tune Tracks Racing and uh, help support that channel and fight leukemia. Yeah, shout out to my little my little hero Jason. And yeah, we want to help them uh, get some more subscribers if possible. I know my channel ain't that popular, you know, compared to others, but I'm gonna do my part. So until next time. Peace out, Big Dappuccino, uh, show and tell, number 38. Peace. <sighs>